What's up everyone? You've guessed it. Shadow of Destiny. So, this game starts off with the beginning cutscene, so I'm going to shut the hell up and let you watch it. There isn't a whole lot of audio going on, but but it is interesting and dramatic in this my silence. So, go ahead and continue watching. What the... Oh, what's going on? What on earth could have happened? Am... am I... dead? Bingo. Bingo. Who, who's there? How does it feel to be dead? I... Damn it, who is this? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. Why? Can't you trust me? Of course not. I get it. You're the big S, the devil. In exchange for your immortal soul and all that, am I right? Your soul? Oh, please. In this day and age? <laughs> if I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Let me think it over a bit. Of course, of course. Go ahead. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Well, what reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right, but I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one, which means that just because you've managed to avoid death once doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny can't be cheated. So, coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right. But that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers. I'm 
going to give you this digipad, please use it well. Okay, so this is a perfect time for me to explain a little bit about what's going on. Okay, so this game is called Shadow of Destiny. It's basically about this man, Ikush, that is currently running around in a circle like a retard. And someone is out to kill him. And he has to defy, um, defy fate and change his destiny to live. Um, there's a whole lot of cutscenes and the chapters can be pretty long so each video is only be probably about a chapter uh, long and some of them maybe about half a chapter because they can get pretty long I'm trying to keep each video about under 20 minutes or so 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 yeah so what was the last thing I was trying to say uh, yeah so there's a lot of cutscenes which means I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of talking all the talking that I'm gonna be doing is probably gonna be done around these times where I'm able to freely move around because the story is pretty complex and you really kinda of have to pay attention to what's going on alright so let's go pick this thing up but it's not as though you can use it anywhere or anytime you want this will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be sent to that time, alright? You can't solve the real problem by just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? Yes, and it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly, or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful. Like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. All right, to the portal. We. Sir, please wake up. Are you all right? Do you feel sick or something? The cake is a lie. <laughs> Sir? Oh, sorry. I, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that'll do. Okay. I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Hmm, two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. Yeah, but since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did happen.
Okay, so a lot of people bitch about the voice acting in this game and think that the one, the PSP version, is just, oh, so much better. No, fuck you, go to hell. The PSP version is probably the worst fucking version of this game I've ever fucking heard. Okay? Everyone sounds like teenagers and, or snotty assholes or whatever. And when they're supposed to be like 25, 26 years old. Like, freaking Ike sounds like he's going through freaking puberty. It's just retarded. So, so, yeah, so basically you play as Ike Kush, and you are in the town of Laboon Salam, something like that, in Germany. And you have to change your fate and do some weird stuff. So, oh, first off, pay attention to that little girl and that woman down here. I'm going to get to them in a minute. Anyway, probably one from the most overly mm, dramatic cutscenes in the game. Well, I never noticed this place before. Okay, watch this. This is funny. Watch, 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 watch. This is hilarious. I've been expecting you. No way! Actually, I just happened to stop by, and I was wondering if you could tell me my fortune. Am I going to die soon? For you, I will do it. The okay, now this is the most boring Thanks. I've seen. I really need this. Please, don't just give me the usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Don't worry. hour is 2.30. What? Whatever I foresee, you can change. If you take no action, the fate I see will befall you for certain. But I seem to see in you the strength to defy fate itself. The power to defy fate? If, for instance, and this is only an example, your fate is to be stabbed while ass. taking a walk after you leave this place. And this would happen if you are alone at the fated hour. But if you know what awaits you, you would find people to be with, so that you would not be by yourself, unprotected. Then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, the assassin must give up his quarry, and fate would have been defied. But a single change will affect all else follows it. How it changes. She has some awesome hair. No one can tell. There are too many threads, too many tangles. I cannot help you with what lies so far ahead. Your actions could bring even greater danger. But if fate can be changed, you should fight as hard as you can. If you can return here after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell you the next fortune. All right. I think I can trust you. Only because she speaks in a mystical voice. Alright, ready for this? We go on to time travels. To the past. Boop, boop. Okay, first I want to go show you something funny as hell. She doesn't say anything interesting, so I don't care about her. First off, we gotta go recruit people to go to this square. So let's talk to the orange pumpkin. Hmm. You want me to come to the square at 2 30? What's going to happen in the square? A performer, maybe? 
quill. Oh. All right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Of course you don't. You're ugly. Anyway. Okay. So here's that little girl we are talking about. Okay. Now let's go find her mother. Okay, no, no. First you gotta talk to her. Listen to her. Have you seen my mother? Okay. Guess I'll go to the square. Okay, first off, I like how this bitch doesn't listen to me and does not go to the square. Okay. Okay, so let me go over here. You. Have you seen a woman wrapped in a coat wandering around here? Okay, everything's kind of cut off, so why don't you just go fucking walk, out, walk, you fucking asshole. Anyway, okay. So, here's this woman. Okay. Have you seen my girl? Ooh, at the square. Oh, thank you. I'll go find her there. Okay, first off, she doesn't go to the fucking square. Piss me off. Okay, now watch this shit. Okay, see that little girl down there? She's looking for her, right? But watch this shit. She fucking sees her, right? And they just walk right past each other. And that little girl is walking down the same damn direction as she was. And she saw her mother. But no, I'm just gonna fucking turn around and go in the other direction. Blah, 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 blah. Because it just makes so much sense. Okay. And just show you something else that's kind of cool. Go in here. Come on. There you go. Okay. Watch this shit. Da, 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 da. Ah, oh my god! But look at this shit. Look. He doesn't notice anything. She doesn't. She's looking right fucking at him. And he's just all like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And this guy is just gonna go, yes. Yes? Bitch. Excuse me, sir. Have we met before? No, I'm just laying over here, passed out. Don't worry, this is just my twin brother. We look exactly the same, but yet I have no older brother or sibling or sister or anything. So yeah, so nothing strange there. Just, you know, just gonna let the person just sleep there. Like nothing's going on, anyway. Anyway. Okay. To the future. Or the present, or whatever. Wee Travel to time is fun. Yeah. Zoop. Alright. Oh, where is it? Okay. She moved. Okay, let's go over here and watch the street performer. Hello. Juggling. So fun. Hey, now here's a guy with no worries. Da 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 There was someone behind me. Oh, but it looks like the crowd scared him off. Oh, and that fortune teller. She told me to come back. I should go look her up again. Okay, so that was the prologue, everyone. Be sure to stay tuned for chapter one as we continue defying our fate and going on with the story. So I want you all to caress that subscribe button ever so gently and drop us a like. So everyone, have a good day and peace.